Hello everyone. In this video, we will continue with our previous lesson. We will determine the equations for a periodic voltage waveform. It is a triangular wave, and I want to remind everyone that if you work with a triangular wave, then you should have two equations. All right. So take a look at our period given to us. One cycle is from 0 to the period t. So right here is 0. And we'll have to go to the period t right there. So if you trace the pattern of this triangular wave, you will see that it's from Vmax to the negative Vmax. And then it's split right here at uh, t over 2. Okay. And then it will repeat itself from negative Vmax. It goes back up to the positive Vmax. All right. So we are having two separate periods to work with. I will have this from 0 to t over 2. And then from t over 2 to t. OK. So let's write down the times intervals that we have. So we will have for t greater than or equal to 0 or less than the um, t over 2. Okay. In this times interval, I will choose two points. <coughs> Excuse me. So I use two points. I will pick the point as uh, 0 and Vmax. Okay. If you pick a point that having a 0, it simplifies the process of finding uh, the equation for, for this uh, um, part of the waveform. Okay. So I will pick this one. So it's 0 and Vmax. Okay. So the next one I want to pick is this one right here because it's also involved a 0. So that means this point will be uh, t over 4, right? And then the values for, for vt should be equal to 0. So I write down that I am choosing this coordinate. And I'm going to label it as uh, x1, y1, x2, y2. And don't forget, we are going to use m equal to y2 minus y1, x2 minus x1, and we are using the point slope form, y minus y1 equal to um, m x minus x1. <coughs> Excuse me. So we circle this, we remind ourselves that we still have to stick to this uh, concept. And um, so let's find the slope. Okay, so m equal to y2 minus y1, it means I will have Vmax subtract 0. x2 minus x1, that means I will have 0 minus t over 4. So again, Vmax divided by uh, negative t over 4. So it means that I will have uh, Vmax multiplied by 4 over negative t. Therefore, m is equal to 4 Vmax as negative divided by the period of t. So let's circle this. This is very important. It's our slope. So now, after having the slope, I will substitute it into the equation. Uh, y minus y1 equal to m x minus x1. Okay. Don't forget, we are working with vt and t. So I will write this as uh, vt. Okay, subtract. So let's see our point, which is uh, 0 in this case. So let me point that out for everyone right here. Okay, we are using that. So we will have uh, y1 equal to 0. Our slope is negative 4 Vmax divided by the period t. And I multiply that with x. x in this term is will be t. And my x1 uh, is actually um, uh, quite uh, 
x1 in this case is t over 4. Okay, so there's t over 4. Okay, so let's multiply this inside the bracket. I will have vt equal to negative 4 v max over period t times t. And you see that you take negative times negative, there will be a plus. And 4 v max over period t times that with period t over 4. And you can see that you can cancel out certain terms here. So that's what I have. So now vt will be equal to negative 4 v max over t times t. And in this case, I just have the um, uh, v max left. So adding v max. So this is the equation for the period of t greater than or equal to 0 and less than t divided by 2. All right? OK. OK, so that's good. OK, so the next one is I'm going to find the equation for this. OK, so for this, then I should have uh, t over 2 and then t. So what point do we pick? We are going to choose this uh, two points. I will write it down for everyone. So right here, I will choose uh, this point as 3t over 4. And then 0, I want to involve the 0. And then I pick this point, which is t. And then Vmax. Okay, so though these are the two coordinates that I'm going to use to find the equation for this line. Okay, so let's go to our blank space so we can write it down. Okay, so I'm going to write for t less than the t and p divided by 2. So within this interval, I'm going to use, um, 3t over 4 and 0, and I'm going to use t and vmax. So I will identify my uh, x1, y1, here's my x2, y2. I will be using m again, okay? m equal to uh, y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. So we have y2 is uh, Vmax, okay, so Vmax minus y1, which is 0. x2 is um, t minus 3t over 4. So in this case, I should have Vmax, okay. Now, I have to take common denominator, so I time this by 4. And then I time that over 1, so I time this by 4 again. So I should have uh, 4t minus 3t, common denominator is 4. So I should have Vmax divided by 4t divided by 4. 4t minus 3t, I should have it as just uh, 1t, okay? <coughs> Excuse me. And now you see that Vmax divided by t over 4, it means I will take Vmax multiplied by 4 over t, and my slope will be 4 Vmax over t as a period. So this is equal to, to the slope that I have to use in order to substitute into the equation to find um, my equation for this time interval. So again, we will write this down. Okay, so y is my vt, and this should be 0. It should be 4 vmax over the time period. Okay, so let's take a look at our point again. So right here, I can show everyone here is the point that we need to use. Okay, so right there. Okay, x1, y1. So in this case, I will have um, t subtract, that point should be 3 period over 4. Okay, so now let's multiply this inside the bracket. 
I should have Vt equal to uh, 4 V max over period T times the times T and subtract this with <coughs> 4 V max divided by T times 3 T over 4. Okay, let's cancel out the period, cancel out the 4. So in the end, I should have Vt equal to 4 V max over period T times T. And I just have uh, 3 V max left, so minus 3 V max. So this is the equation for this waveform, but for the interval of t over 2 less than equal to t less than t. All right, okay. So let's continue to our next uh, question. Our next question is a sawtooth wave. Okay, sawtooth wave. Sawtooth because it's, it's shaped like a, 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 a saw. I, I think that, that's what they, uh, they, um, use the name from. Okay. All right. So I kind of highlight for everyone the red part to tell you that this is the repeat itself within certain period of time. So they ask us to find the equation for the sawtooth wave over the period of zero and t, so right here is 0, here is t, and I can tell you that for the sawtooth wave, you don't have to find two equations here, just only one equation exists, so you just have to find one equation. In triangular waves, you may have to find two equations, but in sawtooth wave, you just have to find one, okay, because you, you don't have to find the equation for this because it's it's not there okay so it's not so this line that i trace for everyone here shouldn't be there so good okay so we only have to find the equation for the red part okay so in this case only one okay so let's fill in the uh times that we have so right here i should have t over two okay right here should be zero and it's a straight line from the negative V max to the, to the, v, to the positive V max. So what I have is we are going to choose two points uh, in this case to work with. Okay. Choose two points. What I'm going to use is I'm going to use, um, this point to work with. So why don't I choose that? So this one I will have zero for T and negative V max for the VT. And I also pick this point here. That means I will have t divided by 2 for t, and I will have 0 for vt. So in two coordinates, I have the 0 to work with. So it simplify the process. Okay. So we will just say for uh, t less than period t greater than or equal to 0, and I'm going to choose a 2.0 negative V max. And then I choose T over 2 and 0. All right. Okay. So let's label our points. I will label this one as uh, X1, Y1. Here's X2, Y2. And the slope is equal to Y2 minus uh, Y1 divided by X2 minus X1. So Y2 is negative V max minus the 0 divided by x2, which is 0 in this case, and subtract uh, t over 2. Okay, so negative v max divided by negative t over 2. So you can write it as um, time 2 over negative t. Okay, so in this case, your slope should be equal to negative divided by negative. You should have 2 v max divided by period t. Okay, so let's circle this. We are going to use it for our next uh, step. So y minus y1 m x minus x1. So in this case, I should have vt. Let's see our point. 
okay our point will be uh, t over 2 and 0 so I will have minus 0 uh, my slope is 2v max divided by the period the t and I multiply that with t and subtract t over 2 okay so let's multiply this in the bracket multiply that I should have vt equal to 2v max over t times t and then I will have negative 2v max over t times that with t over 2 okay so I can cancel out this period I cancel out the 2 so in the end my vt will be equal to 2v max over period t times t subtract my v max all right okay so in conclusion what we have is for sawtooth wave we only have one equation and that equation will be equal to vt equal to 2v max divided by period t times t subtract 1v max for the period of t less than t and greater than 0 all right Thank you.